You know, on our farm, everyone, I should say just about everyone have a companion. The ducks and geese have each other. The pigs have one another. Our goats have one another. Our chickens, of course, come in a flock. We also have our cats. Now there's one particular person or animal that doesn't have a companion. And that's my friend Can't Get Right, but you guys also know him as Seeger. Well today, that's about to change. We're taking a road trip. The most time-honored tradition of all, the road trip. So, we have made it home safely. Thank goodness. I drove. Yes, that's why I'm thanking God. Uh, this is May Rose. For those who ask, the name can't get right and May Rose come from the movie Life. Hey girl, you gonna eat your cornbread? Yes, that life. Um, Today is treat day on the farm, so everybody get a little scratch. The goats get some animal crackers. Um, the pig get ever what whatever junk food we got for them. What better way to introduce May Rose to Can't Get Right is over some treats. Now we want to uh, monitor these two. So May Rose is only six months old. Uh, she was born hatched in June. So we want to uh, monitor these two um, and make sure they get along. Now. For those who don't know, peacocks don't mate until spring and summer months. So I'm not worried about the mating portion. Can't get right, it's almost two years old. So we don't want him attacking her. So we want to monitor the behavior. But also, another thing is, we don't have anywhere really to quarantine May Rose from Can't Get Right. So what we're gonna do is just put them two together and see how things work. My wife is, He's really moving really fast. So, look at him, he's like, oh! He's locked, he's locked eyes. Now that May Rose is inside, we can't get right. A few things I want to discuss. One is the breed difference. So May Rose is what's called a uh, Indian blue pie. Meaning if you look at her, she has the blue, a little blue, but then she has the white speckles all over her. Uh, that's the pied version of her where can't get right is just an Indian blue. Now, what is the purpose for our peacocks on our farm besides just looking amazing? Um, they are our night watchmen, meaning that at nighttime they're out and about and they're looking around and if they see something that looks out of place, they're gonna alert you. Now, those who have peacocks know the sound of a peacock. I'm gonna have Jamie imitate that noise right now. No, you do it well. No. Go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> so, those they make a loud honking noise. So if you hear that at nighttime, that means something. What was it? What? I didn't say anything. So if you hear that loud 
honking noise at nighttime. That means you probably should get out of bed and go figure out what's going on because the peacocks see something, hear something, something is going on. Now, also, we're gonna be using, of course, we got a male and a female now. So we're gonna be using these guys for hatching purposes. So we want to be able to sell uh, peacock fowl on our farm. And the only way we could do that is by having, of course, a peacock and a peahen. So I talked about the breed. I talked about the, their purpose. Now I just wanna talk to you about the farm that we went to. We went to a really nice small farm. Uh, the family, they sit on about a one and a half acre farm. Um, and they was getting ready to upgrade to a 20 acre farm, which I am jealous. But how they had their uh, one and a half acre laid out is very inspirational. And it really opened my eyes to a lot of things and a lot of things that we can do on our four acre farm. So needless to say, we just put this together here for a can't get right. So he eventually is gonna be getting some new digs here soon. I am working on it now. So, we're gonna get that figured out, and of course, that'll be a later video. I will say I am happy now that we have a pea hen on the property. It has been a very difficult journey in finding one. Every time we see, find one, um, of course, there's not too many marketplaces that we can advertise or sell the, uh, animals on, but every time we would find one available, um, it was either sold quickly or it was just way out of our price range. So this is pretty cool to have this on the pro her on the property now. I'm super excited for May Rose. Of course, as always, we'll continue to share our peacock journey with you guys um, and let you guys give you guys an update of what's going on. As always, please make sure that you like, share, tell a million friends or two, and of course, subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.